Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to episode two. <laughs> episode two of Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Uh, last time we left off, we had just gotten through all the cutscenes, and now we're supposed to be looking for a fireplace and the book. Hold on, can I? There we go. Uh, flipping Heckmon. Proper. I don't know what that means. He makes silly sounds. Oh my goodness, I can run! No running in the house, Oliver. Okay, fireplace was in here. There we go. Alright. <gasps> Exclamation mark. What could be hidden in a place like this? A mighty spell book! Huh? A book? But it would burn in there. Not this book. The wizard's companion laughs in the face of fire. Wouldn't be much of a spell book if it didn't, now, would it? Really? Aha! Gotcha! Wow. <laughs> <coughs> this is a spell book? That there is the wizard's companion. The fount of all wizarding knowledge. The wizard's companion. You obtain the wizard's companion. Well, that's good. I guess I'm going to need that. Drippy. Now listen up. I'm going to teach you what's what in that wizard's companion of yours. If you want to have a read of it, press triangle to open the main menu. You should see down at the bottom right of... Wait. You should see it down at the bottom right of there. Then if you just want... Then you just need to choose it with the X button. And if you leaf through it, leaf through the wizard's companion to your heart's content. Take a minute or two to have a skim of the pages, eh? Uh, you look like a smart lad, so I'm sure you'll soon get into it. Why am I not able to read tonight? Oh, I almost forgot. The first thing that you have to do when you get to your hands on the Wizard's Companion is to make a pledge. You need to vow that you'll do all that you can to, uh, to be worthy of being a wizard. Don't look so flippin' worried. It's not hard. All you have to do is write your name, write your name in the book with an open, honest heart. And you don't even have to write Oliver if you don't. You can write Bunting or Crybaby or whatever. <laughs> whatever you like. The important thing is that you mean it. Go on, scribble your name down. Well, we know what I'm doing. <laughs> Code. Can we, can I do primate? Ooh. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna run out of letters. Oh no, it's oh, it's just right. My goodness. Confirm. Uh, are you sure? Are are you happy with Code Prime Eight? <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with Code Prime. 8. You have taken the Wizard's pledge, and now privy to the timeless wisdom of the Wizard's companion. Okay. Tidy. What right. do you say? Yeah, Magic tidy. Magic in our tidy. way over to my world, is it? Hmm, now let's see. What is it? You got a wand somewhere by here? We can't go casting spells without a wand, now can we? A wand? Why would we have a wand? Oh, that's a pain. Ah, well, can't be helped. We just have to look for one outside. <laughs> huh? Okay. We won't find one out there either. Don't nitpick, crybaby bunting. Bunting? My name is Oliver. Oliver. Ah, so the crybaby bit was right at least, was it? Oh. <laughs> right who? time to find ourselves a magic wand. You mean there's one hidden somewhere around here? Like a, like the spell book? Ha! You're having a laugh. I, if you think I'm going to make it that easy, Bon. <clears throat> I don't even know if I sound like him. What do you think I am? Made of m wizarding equipment? Yeah, I mean, you just pulled a book out of the fireplace. No, this one's going to be a little more difficult. But over... But our journey... Well, our journey over to my world is a hunt for the soul snare, among other things. So why don't you treat yourself to a warm-up? An Easter egg hunt before the wild goose chase, if you will. The... Huh? Uh... Okay, I guess. Okay, I'm lying. The thing is, I've never bought... I never brought a wand with me. This guy is too much. I mean, look at me. I'm a piece of love. I'm the price there. Wow. Cannot read. 
The price of my lovability is my small stature, ain't it? I only managed to get carry that flippin' book, man. Any more, and I would have been crushed. So, even fairies tell lies, huh? Oh, sorry, that was Oliver. So, even fairies tell lies, huh? Of course they do. Us fairies are incorrigible liars. <laughs> Any, anyways, no point in crying over spilled milk. Let's find ourselves a suit, uh, suit, su substitute, shall we? A substitute? How can there be a substitute for a magic wand? Well, if you if you can find something brown and sticky, like maybe a stick, we. <laughs> Was that a poop joke? Did he just refer... Never mind. We might just be able to, to muddle through. Uh, okay. You're sure a stick will work. Do you think I'm sending you in the garden path or something? Fine. I'll give you a hand. Follow me, Bunting. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're following him. Oh. Eh, what are you looking at? Don't tell me you're thinking of using this lamppost as a flippin' wand. Well, you can cut that out, <laughs> for start. It's way too flippin' big. We need a stick or something like this, that, ain't it? Why don't we go have a look by over there? Uh, okay. Oh, wait, remember the late... Hey, lady. Hey. What do you think, Oliver, dear? It looks a whole lot better now that I've cleaned up all those leaves and branches, huh? Why isn't there a uh, why there isn't so much as a twig left? It's spotless. Oh, yes, ma'am. Uh, thank you for doing that. Oh, it's no need to thank me, dear. It's my pleasure. Yes. Okay. Okay. Fine. We're over here. This is one proper tidy motor, eh? <coughs> Might get myself one of these. Why does everybody want the pink car? Um, <laughs> sorry. Not really time for it, is it? There ain't anything wand-like over here by either... Over here... Over by here either. Let's go and look over there at the other side, shall we? Uh, okay. Oh, and when you find something, don't forget to pop it into your bag for safekeeping. Look at the top left of your main menu, and you'll see a bottomless bag. In there, you'll find your all your items nicely sorted into different categories. That's, uh, they're handy. Use L1 and L2 to shift between the categories. Of course, there ain't much to see at the moment, but when you got lo loads of stuff, you'll be glad to, you'll be glad of a bit of order, ain't it? Anyways, next time you pocket a tidy item, be sure and have a closer look at your bottomless bag. Put it in, in my bag, sure. Oh, sorry, that was... Bottomless bag is now accessible from the main menu. You never know that it's accessible until you don't know it, right? Let's start the new day off mean, shall, as we mean to go on, shall we? Best foot forward. And last one is ends a rotten egg. Dude, I don't know where you want me to... Oh, the star. I absolutely love this game. This is, a, this is an awesome game. Just saying. I hope I'm not ruining it with my horrible, horrible talking, reading, sigh. It's no use. There's nothing around here that looks anything like a wand. You're not wrong, Bunting. All right. We'd better slip up. Split up, then. Broaden the search, like. I'll go and take another quick look inside your house. You stay here and head up the outside search, okay? Uh, Okay. Okay, brown sticky, brown sticky. Oliver? Huh? Oliver? Oh, it's you. Who's the girl? Try talking to her. Okay. Cutscene? You're, you're the little girl I met before, huh? Mm-hmm. We met before. So... How do you know who I am? I'm really, really sorry, Oliver. Huh? Your mummy. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. Huh? I don't... Why would you be sorry for that? I wanted to save her. I really did. Huh? Hey, wait. Where are you... going? Hey! 
Where did you go? Ollie boy, why are you talking to thin air? Mr. Drippy, she disappeared again. Huh? Who did? That strange girl. That's the second time she tried to talk to me. What's that? A girl? Where? You're right about strange. I can't see her any flipping where. Well, how could you? She disappeared into thin air. Well, anyway, there's something I want to ask you. There is? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Do you mind it? You know, having a sidekick, like. Huh? A sidekick? Who do you mean? Crikey, that's cold. Who do you mean, he says? Why not stab me in the heart while you're at it? I so mean emotional. Me. I wanted to know <laughs> if it was all right me joining you on your adventures. Or if you were maybe wanting to trade me in for a younger, prettier model. But it looks like I got my answer, huh? Well, so you know, if you don't have faith in people, you'll never see their true worth. And what's more? Look at this. Huh? It was on the ground, right where that girl was standing. Check it here, then. Top. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's a wand. You mean it? A real wand? <laughs> Yay. Come over here and take a look, man. We have a wand now. Might seem like any old stick, but it's got all magic writing on it. See? It does, huh? Wow. Is that how people write in your world? The runes are all faded, so it might have lost a bit of power. But for our current purposes, it's a beauty. Neato! What a stroke of luck! Luckier than you know, Ollie boy! Dude, I never thought we'd actually find one! Do you think <laughs> maybe that girl. Never actually thought we'd me? find one, really. You obtained an old stick. Yay! Right! Now we need a place to cast our spell! To cast Gateway, you need somewhere proper massive. You need space to give it oomph, see? Do we really need that much oomph? Yeah, what kind of question is that? Magic is special, isn't it? It's sacred, right? You have to cast spells in the best environment possible. You really are new to this, aren't you? This is beginner stuff we're talking about here. Oh, uh, sorry. Don't be sorry, you didn't know. Now, take me somewhere with plenty of space. It's got to be somewhere around by you. Um... The town square, I guess. Okay, and we're off to the square. I, f I feel like I should have more commentary, so I apologize if it doesn't seem like I'm talking enough. But I, I really don't want to like mess up the cutscenes and stuff. Oh look, we're playing Frogger. I wonder if the store is open. It's the middle of the night. No stores are open. Do you really think we should be doing this here? No worries, man. Normal people can't see magic, see? Go on, Ollie boy. Cast gateway. Um. Oh, there we go. Battle spells, all spells, everyday spells. So this is our, our continuum. No, con contortium. No. Companion. That's what it is. <laughs> Casting. That's it, man! You got it! He opened the first page. Uh... Whoa! Shunting, crybaby bunting! For the last time, it's Oliver! Hey, it's not bad work for a crybaby, this. Ugh. By the way, 
way. I don't know if I said this or not. I love Ghibli Animation Studios. Studio Ghibli. Go in, shall we? Huh? Hey, wait for me! <sighs> so this is... your world. Ah, home at last! But there's a tidy way to go yet. Hey, Mr. Drippy, that was pretty neat just now, huh? Oh, that herd of elk! Enjoy your first encounter with the majestic wildlife of our mysterious world, did you? Uh-huh. Huh? huh? Jeepers. Oh, Nickers! Where did he spring from? Ah! Uh, uh, what do we do? He's not like the big softies just now. He's itching for a fight. Proper savage. Let's run away. <laughs> no, use that stick dog. you got by there. Give him a whacking and send him packing. Uh, uh, <laughs> you want me to hit the dog uh, with the stick? Look lively. He's making his move. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> we can do this! He's a lion dog. Okay, so I just hit X to attack. Okay. Don't fret, holy boy. Let get let your old pal Drippy talk you through the basics of battle. First off, look at the top look at the green gauge by there. That shows your health points, HP. The more HP you have, the healthier you are. But if you run out, you're you'll go unconscious. See the blue gauge underneath that? That's your magic points, MP, ain't it? Don't worry about magic for now, man. <laughs> I keep wanting to do a Jamaican accent with a man. Don't worry about your magic for now, man. <laughs> that, that was a horrible accent. Uh, let's talk about the, the the beasties first, shall we? You can see uh, you can see lots of information about them up by here on the right. There's useful. There's useful, eh? The red gauge shows their HP. <coughs> Get that down to nothing and you'll, you've will you won. And these speech bubble thingies down by the here are your commands that you can use in battle. Well, that's enough to... Uh, oh my gosh. That's enough we'll be going with. Try giving the rotter a smack with your stick. Just use the left and right directional pad, select attack, and confirm your choice with X. I'm gonna stop doing the accent. And Bob's Bob's your uncle. Or Robert's your uh, mother's brother. <laughs> Righto, get cracking with the uh, with the wagon. Alright, can I? Oh, I can't move or anything. Okay, fine. Attack. Can't select anything else. That's fine. Tidy! Or shall I say nice? That's what they say when you find an enemy's weak spot or block a big attack, see? Oh, look at that! It's dropped something. You'd best pick that up, eh? Okay. That's known as a gleam, Ollie Boy. Enemies drop those in the heat of battle. Green gleams are the... the like the one that's grabbed with... will restore your... Bleh. Wow. Green gleams, like the one that you just grabbed, will restore a few of your HP. The blue ones will give you MP back instead. Same color of the gauge, see? Tidy! Oh, and you also need to give your HP and your MP a boost with spells and items, ain't it? Of course, you'll have to take uh, my word for it, that. <laughs> what with you having nothing in, at the mo. Okie dokie. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> That's enough for me. It's time for your practice while I preach. It's time for you to practice what I preach. Go on, boy. Boy, botch. Give him a, give him what for? Okay. Let's, oh, run away. Oh, can't we just be friends? Don't hit me. Okay, fine. Whack. Whack him again. We're gonna grab that and whack him again. Whack him again. Oh, poor fucker. The results, experience, level four experience. So it only takes eight to get to level two. Got three money G's. I think that's cool. Oh, hey, proper tidy. Nice one, Ollie boy. Jeepers, creepers. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Our world is absolutely riddled with beasties. But keep that up and you'll have nothing to worry about. Right, let's get a move on, shall we? Sure, Mr. Drippy. But where are we going? Well, first off, we need to get you a wand. But I already have a wand. <laughs> You're having a laugh, aren't you? That thing's about as magical as a flipping cabbage. You might just squeeze a gateway spell out of it, but you can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, I wish you'd think before you open your mouth. Oh, uh, sorry. Now, I told you Ding Dong Dell was just over by yonder, didn't I? Well, if we're very lucky, we might find a wand with a bit more oomph down by there. So, are wands really so hard to find here? Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things. But since Shada showed up, magic's taken a real nosedive. He banned people from using it, see? Cursed anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary, huh? Well, he turned me into a flipping doll, didn't he? Just saying his name's enough to make most folks prick it. Still, I'd rather be a doll than have him go poking round in my heart. No one wants to be broken-hearted. Broken-hearted? Like, sad? Worse than that, much worse. It's when he steals a piece of a person's heart. Poor beggars don't know whether they're alive or dead. That's no way to live, man. So that's why they're all so scared of him, huh? We can't let him go on doing this. Well, it's not a matter of letting him, is it? It's not like people flipping enjoy it. That's why I brought you here, innit? You might just be able to stop him, see? You really think I can? Course you can! You are the pure-hearted one! And the legends say that the pure-hearted one will drive away the darkness! We'll teach you a few tasty spells and you'll be ready to face him in no time! Sound good to you? Okay, I'll do it. I'll learn magic. Yay. Of course you will! And that's why we need to find you a better wand! <laughs> All right. Let's head for Ding Dong Dell. Tidy. I think I'm going to start saying that. Tidy. Tidy. Oh. Ain't it beautiful, Ollie boy? Aye, it's good to be back. Our world is absolutely riddled with monsters. If one, if one of them spots you, you'll see a big exclamation mark pop over its head, and it's, it'll charge. When it gets within touching distance, you'll have a fight on your hands. If you run out of HP in the middle of battle, you'll be out for the count. So be careful, ain't it? Oh, and here's a tidy little technique for you. If you sneak up behind monsters without them noticing you, you can get the first hit. You can get the first hit in, and giving you the upper hand. The only thing is, it works the other way around too. If the monster sneaks up behind you, they'll be able to get the first hit in. The rotters. Oh yeah, here's the little something. Consider it a gift from Lord High, Lord High Lord of the Fairies. You obtain three loaves of white bread. Dude, where was he? Oh, never mind. Uh, thanks, but what do I do with these? Just have a munch on one when you're feeling a bit ropey, and you'll be right as rain in no time, Mom. But a wizard cannot live by bread alone, Ali boy. He needs a proper wand at all, and that knobby thing in your hand is doing... is is doing my flippin' head in? Giving him headache, I guess. <laughs> See that big castle to the north? That's Ding Dong Dell, that is. I reckon we'll find ourselves a wand in there. So let's get moving, shall we? Okay. Okay, first off, give me that. What is that? You obtained a bunch of booster something that was way too fast. All right, there, that's a baddie over there. I'm not I'm going to avoid everything. Okay. I love the overworld. Oh, Nickas, there's something I forgot to tell you. What's that, Mr. Jippy? Here in my world, you can change your viewpoint. Oh, I already saw that. If you're having trouble with the controls... Oh, thank you for the subscribe. Uh, go to your settings in the main menu and you'll fiddle around with them. You can switch the vibration on and off there as well, ain't it? Speaking personally, I'd have it on. Rumbles just ain't the rumble without the bit of rumble, is it? <laughs> now, I know this is a lot to take in, Ollie boy, but I'm sure you'll get the used to it. I guess. Oh, sorry. I, I guess. All right. What a beautiful, beautiful world. 
Are these little glyphs all different icons? I don't know. Looks to me like a classic case of broken heartedness. Broken heartedness? You mean that thing you were talking about before? That's right. The broken hearted are people who've had part of their hearts stolen. Poor souls just uh, aren't themselves. Go all weird and uh, useless, they do. So his heart was broken uh, by. Keep up, will you? Shadar, innit? If anyone tries to stand up to him or does anything he doesn't like, he breaks their hearts into pieces so they can't put up a fight. Jeepers. But if he stays that way, we can't get into Ding Dong Dell. You'd better cure him in, ain't it, Ollie boy? It's time to mend your first broken heart. Mend it? But how do I do that? Well, you can't just... yet. There's a couple of things that you'll be needing first. But I know an old man who's got just what you need. Proper useful, I am, eh? An old man? What old man? What do you mean, what old man? THE old man, ain't it? Lives in the woods, north of here. Proper deep and deeply dark it is. That's why we call it the Deep Dark Woods. Of course. Ah, huh, makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Me and Ollie are on the same page. Hmm. Ollie boy! Alright. Perhaps I'll have a nap. Perhaps I'll have a nap. Wait, what? He's just tired. Just get him some coffee. That's all. Hi. What's up? Sigh. <laughs> okay. What about this guy? What's up? Hmm, hump, hump. One, two. One, two. Okay. Huh? What do you want to enter the town, do you? Well, I'm afraid that's impossible at the moment. It's my colleague, you see. He's the one in charge of letting people in, but recently he's just been refusing to do it. He says he can't be bothered. Okay. Okay, so does it have a, like a compass? Is there a compass on here? Ah, there is. Okay. So the deep, dark woods... Dark woods, can we go around this way? Are these not the deep dark woods? Okay, no. Can't do that. What about this way? Can we, can we go this way? Deep dark woods? To the north? Deep dark woods. That is not working whatsoever. Oh gosh. Is that guy coming over here? Okay. Do not notice me. Do not notice me. Alright, we need to head to the north. So it's gonna be this way. Uh oh! No, 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 no! Stop, stop, stop! He almost got me. Oh, stop, 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 stop! <laughs> I guess I probably should fight some things. Hold on, can I sneak up behind him? Oh, 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 there we go, there we go. Yep, 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 yep. Sneak, sneak, sneak. No, I I got to him before he noticed me. Okay. We can do this! I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hit him. Aw, poor pupper. Results, four experience points, we leveled up, got three gold. Yay! So we went up by six on, wow, up by six on, on hit points, up by three on magic. Oh, you can read it. Oliver's reached level two. Yay. Oh, oh, I see a sparkly thing. Hold on, can I... Oh no, he gets the first hit in. The enemy has the upper Let's hand. Let's go! Oh no. Oh, he missed. Oh, I don't get to hit it yet. What level is the mine bird? <sighs> Yay. Three experience points. Four gold. I see a magical thingy over there. I can't climb the mountain, can I? Oh, oh, there we go. 
You obtained a plant swart flower? Or a plain swart flower? Hold on. Wasn't there a... Ah, the bottomless bag. Okay. There we go. So, booster shoots. Herbs that are mainly used to increase potions effective effect the efficiency, especially in alchemy medicine making. Cool. This plant's beautiful orange flowers brighten up the open plains on which they grow. Plains wart flower. Plains wart. Uh, and then we've got Oliver's clothes. Favorite outfit combined with a yellow sweater and a comfortable pair of blue pants. And then we've got the fairy suit. A basic fairy costume woven using magical fibers that are guaranteed to provide comfort that fits at all times. Oh, is that uh, that's Drippy's outfit. Nice. The wizard companion and the stick. And that's it. Okay. And I'm 40 of 41 on my health, so I'm, I'm good. Let's go back. Uh, can I go in here? Okay. Chapter 1, Magic. Chapter 2, Alchemy. Chapter 3, Equipment. What? Chapter 4, Provisions. Read from the beginning. Chapter 5, Creatures and Familiars. Chapter 6, 12, Tales of Wonder. Chapter 7, Regions of the World. And Chapter, see all pages. <laughs> the Wizard's Pledge. What is the Wizard's Pledge? Uh, I who travel between worlds seeking mysteries over the noble arts of magic do solemnly swear to abide by the three rules inscribed herein and to to strive at all times to be worthy of the name wizard wizard um the rules of wizard wizardry wizardry wizards <laughs> shall not tell a lie nor bear falsehood of any kind k y n d e a wizard shall not take up his left shoe before his right be on wait what shall not take up his left shoe before his right be on i don't get it a wizard shall not venture outdoors when the temperature doth rage what that makes absolutely no sense oh we've got pictures Okay. Chapter 1, Magic. What is a wizard? Chapter 2. Okay. I'm probably not going to read this stuff. What is this? Oh. Although, it is a very cool uh, book read, I guess. I guess these are the spells that I will eventually learn. I don't know what that says. The glyphs, I can't read. All right, let's close it for now. Um, what was the other thing? Chapter five, creatures and familiars. Oh my goodness, really? Okay, some of these have like blinked out pages as well. Hurley. Oh, wow. Okay, you can jump into it. Oh, we might have to go and actually read this whole thing. No way. <laughs> the world is home to all sorts of inspiring monsters. Okay, we're not we're not doing that. That is that is way too much. Uh, I won't force you guys to read that. What about equipment? What in the world? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to read these. <laughs> oh, no, I don't like reading. <laughs> uh, okay, let's close the book. I'm gonna go ahead and hit. What do I want to do? I want to hit start. And uh, do I want to save to an empty slot? Yeah, we'll, we'll save to an empty slot right there. Wait, did that work? Yeah, that works. Okay. 
and we're gonna we're gonna leave it there for the moment. That's been 30 minutes. We're good. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Nino Kuni with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, and share this video. All right, I need likes. I need to know that you actually like this. Um, there were a hundred views and like five likes yesterday. Come on, guys, get this thing to to 25 likes, and I will I will do another episode. <laughs> I'm probably going to do another episode anyway, but 25 likes would be nice in the first place. <laughs> Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. <laughs> Outro. <laughs>